We welcome you back inside Mountie Arena, home of the Rogers Mounties. The Rogers Mounties taking on the Bentonville West Wolverines tonight. And let me tell you, this Bentonville West team is stacked. Number one in the conference, number one in the state, and they probably got the best player in the conference, Tucker Anderson, averaging 23 points per ball game for this team. Shooting almost 50% from field goal range. It's going to be an interesting ball game tonight, folks. And the Mounties, it's been a crazy week for them. They had a Alonzo Porsche to decide to step away from the team. And they're looking to get back on track after a hard-fought loss to Northside on the road Monday night. This will be a good win for Coach Frazier. I just found out he is 4-0 against Benville West. And I love to see him get a good win tonight over the number one team in the state. And I'm joined by Coach David Reagan. Coach, it's been a crazy week for the Mounties. They lost to Northside, and they're looking to get back on track tonight against the probably the best team I've seen in a while. What are your thoughts? Well, it is, they are a very talented team up and down the lineup. They seem to have it all going for them right now. They've got the uh, point guard, Tucker Bowman, who can distribute very well, handle the ball very well. They've got shooters all over the place with Tucker Anderson and, and uh, Jackson Ross. And they've got the big man in the middle, Dawson Price, who can do it all. He can lead, he can shoot. He just, they just got a very, very talented team. I mean, they've got guys sitting on the bench that were struck with many teams in this state. Yeah, look at Lane Jeffcoat there. He is just a mountain of a man. Wow. Terrific football player as well. That's Dawson Price, number three. Do it all forward for Bentonville West. Tucker Anderson's a UCA commit. Caleb Cruisenberry. We'll see what Coach Frazier is going to start with. Now it's an exciting night here. Aiden Carnster, I like to see him knock down his threes tonight. He's an outside shooter. Amara had a fantastic night against Northside the other day. Grayson Catch, I like to see him get off to a hot start early tonight. Rex Scott, the do it all guy. He can go low and go outside. He can do it all. And our big man, Jansen Garner. Jansen Garner, tough as nails. All conference tight end, wide out for the football team. This is going to be a fun night. I, I'm uh, it's a little bit of a reunion for me and you, huh? Chance we played, you played with, and I coached with some of the kids that are at, at Bentonville yeah. West. You know, Tucker uh, Bowman and Dawson Price when you were like in fourth grade. Yep, I remember Tucker. Yep. It's red, white, and blue night tonight for the uh, student section. 
If the Mounties play like they did the other night against Northside, this is going to be an up and down game. I expect this game to be in the 60s, maybe even in the 70s. I like the lineup. Frazier's got it. tall and lanky group out there. Mm -hmm. So here comes West. There's Jeffcoat. There's Anderson. Guy that averages almost 25 point, points per ball game. And that's it right there. He can knock down shots anywhere. He can make his own shot. He can create it. And then he releases so high, you can't, it's so difficult to defend. Here comes Amari Jones. Here's Grayson Cash. Trying to go down inside to Jansen. Here's Kraut. Gives it to Amari. It's Kraut looking to drive. Shot's good. I love that shot by Rex Kraut. Uh, you need to get Rex off to a hot start. Nice drill drive penetrate. Little mid-range jumper. Good good shot by Rex. There's Jeff Coat. Backdoor cut. And there's Anderson with a two-hand throwdown. Three-pointer, then a dunk. Off to a good start if you're... Oh, Aiden Cronister stepped out of bounds. Over there, just a little bit too close to the sideline. Turnover for the Mounties. So here comes West. There's Price, gives it to Anderson. Anderson, kick out three. Sire James. That's good. West Hall off to a hot start, eight to two. Yeah, they're three for three on their shooting percentage. Here's Grayson Cash. Here goes Amari Jones, and that swat out of bounds. I like Amari being super aggressive there, but uh, Dawson Price is just a mad defender down low. Probably want to shoot that a little earlier. I like Amari being aggressive. Not worried about that. Cronister's going to try three, and that's what we like to see from Aiden Cronister. What a shot by Aiden out there on some of the, on, on the logo. Here's James. Here goes Price. Oh, no. Oh, man. That was a heck of a brave move by Grayson Cash. I felt like he was there and uh, that uh, he was going to get the first foul on the West tonight. James will throw it in. Oh, it's taken away by Cash. Here comes Amari. He's at the Cronister. He's got range for the days. I almost kind of like to see him to pull that. What a move by. Oh, man. Rex. Oh, it's taken away by Kraut. Oh, did he step out? Ah. Oh. Well, I, I like Rex being aggressive, though. So here comes James. There's Jeff Coat. Swings it over to Price. He knocks yeah. that down. They haven't missed yet. Oh, no, they haven't. Here comes Amari. Here's, here's Jansen. Oh. Cross is going to launch. And he's going to knock it down. Cross off to a hot start. Yeah, he's got range for days, like we said, man. I'd really love to see Aiden shoot that ball. It looks so pretty in the air. Oh, yeah, it does. Here's Jeff Coat. Price again. Fight for the rebound. Tip back out to Price. Here's Anderson. Goes inside to Jeff Coat. <laughs> wow. That's tough to beat. 6'9", 279 pounds, Lane Jeffcoat. Dump it down to him. Crosser again. Oh. Here comes James. Three in the corner. No good. Tucker Anderson with the four. Oh, that's going to go against Amari. That's another tough call against the Mounties down there on that end. 
Coach Frazier's making some changes. Braxton Lindsay and Sky Davenport check in. Grayson Katz and Jansen Gardner will sit. Man, what an easy play for Tucker Anderson. Yeah, he's also, he's 6'8". Just throw it up in the middle there. Easy deuce. Here's Davenport. Gives it back to Amari. Constra oh, try to go inside to Braxton Lindsay. I like that screen and roll. You had the uh, big man Lane Jeffco pulled out to the three-point line, and the inside was going to be open, just overthrew it. Here's Jeffcoat. Here's Bowman. Yeah, Tucker Bowman into the game for the first time. Oh, Frazier wanted to call on that. Here's Jeffcoat. He gives it back to Bowman. Under 10 on the shot clock. Here goes Anderson. Anderson shot no good. Tucker Bowman tracks it down. Anderson for three. And he knocks it down. Here comes Amari. Here's Sky. Sky with a little floater. And that's good. I like that shot from Sky. Yeah, I like the penetration. He didn't play the other night against. Oh, nice pick. Oh, there you go, Rex. Rex one on one. Rex all the way. No good. Rebound about Price. Yeah, I heard Sky was dealing with some knee problems all week. A little tendonitis or something like that. So he sat out the north, north side game on Tuesday. Jackson, Jackson Brust in for the Wolverines. That's him there. And he knocks that down the three. Yeah, he's a great shooter. Here's Cronister. Finds Kraut. Amari, the sky down, pull for three. No good. Price with the board. Here comes Tucker Bowman. Here's Jeffcoat. Good pressure by Lindsay. And he's going to get the foul. Yeah. Braxton taking it as a challenge. You know, even though uh, Jeffcoat's a little bit bigger than him. Braxton Lynch is not going to back down. There's Bruss. Here's Anderson. Backs down Cash. Oh, nice, oh, nice pass. Backdoor cut. Oh, wow. Cruisenberry makes a deuce. Gets fouled by uh, Braxton Lindsay. Caleb Cruzenberry goes to the line. Jensen Garner checks back in. Braxton's going to take a little breather. Cruzenberry at the line. First one, no good. Here comes Amari. A minute 40 in this first quarter. West up 23 to 10. Here's Cash. Here's Davenport, swings over to Amari. Back to Cash. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Swings it all the way to Kraut. Kraut. I'd like to see him catch and shoot that. There we go. Sky for three. Got it! Davenport knocks down the three. Here's Tucker Bowman. Gives it back to Anderson. Anderson's going to try a deep three, and he knocks that down. Here's Cash. Working on Anderson. Frazier getting his guys the play call. Sky for three. Oh, man, Sky is knocking down threes early. 
was a heck of a step back three. Very difficult shot to create on your own. This guy has eight points. Here's Bowman. Here's Price. Gives it back to Bowman. Brush. Rebound by Amari. Ten seconds to go. Got to go. Cash. He's got to go. Time. You got to shoot it. Oh, here's a three. No good by Kraut. Well, Chance, I talked about at the beginning. I said I thought this game will be, I know it will be in the 60s, most likely in the 70s at this rate. It's going to be in the 90s because they have not missed many shots. Oh, yeah. They, I, I'm not keeping count, but they, they've got to be shooting in the 70 percentile range uh, that is west. And uh, we're just seeing why they are the number one team in the state. They've got the big man down below in Lane Jeffcoat. They can dump it down to him. He can even pull away our big guys by coming out to the top of the key, getting the ball, distributing it on a bait, on a cutter, and then Chucker Anderson can go down low because now they pulled our big guy away. You know, there's a number of things they can do. They can dribble drive, penetrate with, with uh, Tucker Bowman and also uh, Zaire James. There's a number of things that they can do. And we're not even talking about some of the other guys who've scored for them as in Cruisenberry and also Jackson Bruss. So they seem to have uh, a lot of the Pistons firing. Ironically, they pl didn't play very well the other night against Heritage. Heritage went with a little different approach, tried to slow it down, muddy it up, went with a zone, you know, tried to slow the game down, limit possessions. And uh, I do like how Coach Frazier is going tonight. I, I, I like the up-tempo. It's just when you're playing a team this talented, it's, it's you know, it, it's hard to stay with them. Got to, got to make almost every shot you take. Yeah. So here we go to start the second quarter. West with a 10-point lead. There's Cash. Gives it to Davenport. Here's Kraut. Gives it to Sky at the top of the key. Sky drives, and we got a whistle. It's like a foul on Zaire James on the ground. This is going to be a Mountie ball underneath their own goal. Amari will throw it in. It's tipped away. Take one by Bowman. Ahead to James. James goes up. Gets that one to go. He hung in the air forever. Got that one to fall. Real athletic play by Zaire James. Here comes Kraut. We got a foul. And that's tough because when even if you make it past your player, you look deep in the uh, underneath the goal, and, and you have Lane Jeffco just staring at you at six foot nine, two hundred seventy nine pounds. He doesn't need to jump to alter your shot. Mari trying to find someone gives it to Kraut. Here's Amari. Let's see Grayson do something here. Grayson, not a good shot by Grayson. Well, I, he probably got fouled on that one. It may look like he was complaining a little bit. Yeah. Here's Bowman. Gives it to Jeff Coat. Oh, good deflection by Gardner. Ooh. Here comes Amari. Sky for three. Oh, gets the friendly bounce. Mounties have pulled within two points. I mean, uh, double digits. Oh, almost taken away by Cash. Anderson for three. Mm. And they, they score quick, don't they, Chance? Oh, yeah. Just gambled a little too hard on that one. Here's Davenport. Well, that's a difficult shot. Looks like Zaire got a piece of that one. Yeah. Lane Jeffco with the rebound. Anderson again. Oh, my goodness. Anderson cannot miss. Timeout. Mounties. That's 19 points for Tucker Anderson. He has um, matched the Mounties point total to uh, for the night. Wow. It's not even halftime yet. 
Yeah, he is. Uh, he's on fire. Yeah, the Mounties have kind of a tough schedule. I mean, when played Benville in conference, played Fayetteville, played Northside, and now we have Benville West, the top team in the state tonight. So, I mean, you, you're running the gauntlet of the conference, you know, program mm -hmm. in the first four games of, of, the, of the conference seating, and it's a, you have to have a tough hill to climb to get out of here in the conference standings. You have to battle all the way out. Conister and Lindsay are back in for the Mounties. Here's Davenport. Oh, Sky for three. Ah. It was a good ball fake. Got Zaire to run by him. Nice clean look. Anderson again. Well, he's feeling it. Oh, yeah. Oh, and here comes Cronster. Gives it to Amari. Here comes Sky. Throws it out to Cronister. Here's Amari. I'd like to see him get it down to Braxton. Yeah, give no. it to him. He's calling for it. Yeah. He's fighting hard. He's going to get this. Sky. No good. Had to shoot. It only had two seconds left on the shot clock. Here comes Tucker Bowman. Bowman guarded by Amari Jones. Tough matchup. Price goes up. No good. Good defense by Rex. Oh, and it's taken away by James. And James gets that one to go. Here's Jones. Coster, no good. Braxton Lindsay with the board. Freshman Braxton Lindsay down there fighting with all those seniors. Tucker Anderson, a senior, UCA commit. Dawson Price, I mean, going to be an All-State player. Yeah. Tucker Bowman, maybe All-Conference, All-State somewhere. Oh, yeah. Tucker's had some health issues with his shoulder. Tucker Bowman has had some health issues with his shoulder and and some other things, having trouble um, keeping weight on, keeping – we've had some uh, visits with the doctor as well as visiting with his dad, Stephen Bowman, tonight about his condition. Hope he gets – Better soon. What was it, dislocated shoulder? Yeah, dislocated shoulder, yeah. yeah. That's where he's wearing that brace on the right shoulder. Here's Cash. There you go, Grayson. Nice play by Grayson. Here's Bowman. Here's Price. Price going against Soren Hoyer. Bowman for three. Crosser with the board. I wonder if that brace hurts his shoulder a little bit for a shooting. Here comes Soren Hoyer. And that's blocked by Price. Here comes Anderson. Oh, good defense by Great. Oh, they're going to call a foul? I don't know. Hold it on. Uh, Aiden Cronister. Oh. I, I thought it was really good defense by Aiden. So Jackson Brussels is going to take it out of bounds for the Wolverines. Here's Anderson. Here's Bowman. It's tough to drive by Amari Jones. He's such a good player. Oh, good oh, cut. Good back cut. Nice find by Dawson Price. Here's Amari. Here's Lindsay down low. Lindsay. Out of bounds. Oh, it's going to go to West. Yeah, I, I thought that might have been off of uh, Tucker Anderson. I guess I called it off of Soren.
Sky Davenport checks back in the game. Aiden Crosser goes and has a breather. Lane Jeffcoat checking back in for the Bentonville West. Oh, here he goes. Oh, that was brave. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. <laughs> Just because he's very large doesn't mean he's not a good athlete. Yeah. He's a very good athlete. Causing to come back in. Going to give Amari a break. Can't get the free throw to go. Here comes Sky Davenport. Sky's got 11 points already. Here comes Lindsay. Oh, and he. What are they going to call? They're going to call push off on Braxton? Oh, I didn't see anything. A charge. I think they're calling the extension of his arm uh. when, he's, when he spun around. Jansen. That's, that's an unfortunate call for the uh, Mounties. Jansen checks back in. Here's Anderson. Here's Jeff Coat. Brust. Oh my goodness. Russ knocks down the three. Here's Poyard. Gives it to Cash. Cash is going to try a three, and he gets that one to go. The threes are falling tonight, Chance. It loses. Glad to see that for the Mounties. Here's Anderson. No good fight for the rebound. Who's got it? We got a jump ball. Good five by Soren Hoyer down low. You mean Kalen Cruisenberry. The ball stays on this end, stays with Bentonville West. Tucker Bowman checks in, and well, Dawson Price checks out. Soren Hoyer checking out. Rex Kraut in for Soren. Thirty second timeout called by Coach White at Bentonville West. Well, we knew it was going to be up tempo chance. We knew that they were going to take shots, and and uh, you know, Benville West is such a great shooting team um, that uh, their dribble drive penetration helps back cutting. But what I, I like tonight, Chance, I, I love the way the Mounties are playing. They're playing I, I up to they're way, they're playing they're shooting the ball well. They're playing with a lot of confidence. They're not backing down. What happens if West get doesn't shoot? 75% in the second half, and the Mounties keep playing like this. The Mounties are going to pull within the pull and draw within uh, a little bit. It seems going to be close in the second half. Yeah. I know they're down by 19 right now, but you can't think that West is going to shoot like this all night. There, it's a oh, here's the lob. Oh, my goodness. Anderson with a throw down. Here's Cronister. Here's Grayson Cash. Goes inside. Go to work, Jansen. Cronister's going to try. And he gets that one to go. Aiden Cronister is knocking down threes right now. He looks great tonight. Just shooting it with confidence. I know at practice, uh, I think it was about last week, he and uh, Grayson Cash had to, had to make 250 threes. <laughs> wow. In practice. Make, not shoot. Ooh. Yeah, good ball fake by Jackson Bruss getting Aiden off his, off his feet. Drawing the foul. I think that's the, first, the second foul on Aiden Cronister. Kind of small. A little bit of cheap fouls. Nathaniel Jones looking to check in for Rodgers. Zaire James looking to check in for West. Cronister is going to set this one. Second one good for Brust. Here comes Nathaniel. Got to get across half court. Yeah. He got, 
Got to go. They didn't get it. Oh, my goodness. 10 second violation. Dawson Price and Tucker Anderson check back in the game. It's a tough lineup. This is their starting lineup right here. Chance, the last <laughs> minute, 52 seconds left to go in the game. They've got something set up. Oh, oh. good takeaway. Here comes Gardner. Gardner all the way. Oh, and he blew the layup. Here comes Anderson. Anderson. That's just. Wow, you can't. That's a D1 player making a D1 <laughs> play and just makes it look so simple. And he's going up against a very, very good defensive team right there, defensive players. 20 seconds till halftime. Grace is going to hold for the last shot. Got to go. You got three seconds. You got to go. That's the end of the half. Last well, end of the first half here at Mountie Arena. West goes up 49 to 27 over the Mounties. I mean, it's pretty basketball chance just to watch the ball go in. It's exciting up and down ball. Yeah. Um, you got you to think that West may not be able to shoot it that well in the second half. And the Mounties will somehow, I mean, 27 points is a lot of points for them in the first half. So I'm proud of the way they're playing right now. Yep. We'll see you guys start the second half.
Rogers for fifth graders. These Rogers High School cheerleaders are hosting a mini Mary cheer clinic. That cheer clinic will be next Thursday, January 19th. The future mini Marys will be performing at halftime of the varsity girls game next Friday night. Registration is still open. So please see any of the Rogers cheerleaders tonight for more information about the clinic. That's for kindergartners through fifth graders, parents. Don't miss this opportunity for your kids to perform with these at the Rogers cheerleaders. Welcome back to RHSC, home of the Rogers Mounties. Benton West with a 49-27 lead over the Rogers Mounties. And I think Coach, the obvious story is Tucker Anderson. What, he had like 32 points in the first half? He had a lot. He has tw <laughs> 23 points in the first half. Oh, 23. 23 points in the first half. And, uh, you know, when that first shot went down for him and it just hit nothing but net, you're just like, oh, this could be... Uh, a really good night for him. I, yeah. I, I mean, he's averaging something around 28 points a night, so he's almost already there at a, at a season average at a half. You have his average. Yep. Actually, he's met his average already at 23 points so <laughs> in the first half, so he's having a special night. Yeah, he's a, he's a special player. His mom um, yeah, played for the University of Tennessee. Oh, wow. And played for Pat Summit and was an All-American there and played, I think, in four Final Fours and won two uh, uh, national championships with the Tennessee Volunteers. Wow. Yeah. So I, I think I have that correct. Some, something like that. So some good genes going on there for Tucker Anderson. Oh, yeah. And so Benville West comes out to try to slow it down some in a zone. Crosser knocks down the three. Aiden is going to try to... Make him get out of that zone by hitting the first shot of the second half. Bowman lost it. Picked up. Price for three. Grace got the board. Oh, and look at Grayson Cash all by himself. Oh, and he gets the friendly bounce. Nice pass up the court by Amari Jones. Amari always has his eyes up the court. Always looking for guys cutting. He dribbles with his eyes up the court. So good. That passing, really a, a, a nice point guard and a really good defender as well. Look at his lateral movement. Yeah. It's, it's hard to get by Amari Jones. On the back cut. Oh, I thought he tried to lay. Here's Price. Good defense so far by the Mounties. All oh, nice defense is there right. There you go. All right, let's go, Amari. Oh, oh what a pass. Oh my gosh! What a good look by Aiden Cronister underneath. Oh yeah, the coach, White's gonna take a timeout. The Mounties got a little bit of momentum here. Score the first points of this second half. Five points unanswered. Coach White looked like he, from Bentonville West, wanted to come out with the zone. Maybe slow Mounties down. And I don't think he liked what he saw. He may oh, go back no. to what worked before. That's Amari Jones also getting the ball up the court. He got deflected by Cruisenberry. Mm -hmm. But Aiden Grouser made a nice little dish. A little no-looker. Yeah, and uh, Jansen Garner with the offhand, <laughs> with the right hand offhand, was able to make it go through. See if the Mounties can capitalize on this momentum and continue with it. They've had two very good defensive possessions as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, just get three stops on the defensive end and make three buckets. If we can make three threes in a row and get three stops, that's almost an 18-point swing against a team that shoots it this well. Yeah. Here's Jeff Coat goes inside to Price. Price, no good. Fight for the rebound. Jansen saves it, and Grayson recovers it. Rex moving it up. Here's Amari.
Here's Rex. Rex thought about going down low. Here's Jansen. Swings out to Cash. Here comes Cash. Cash! Oh, nice finger roll. Here comes Bowman. Bowman. Tucker Anderson again. Oh. Oh, Price tried to. Yeah, he tried to. Get Dawson Price tried to um, follow up with that rebound and dunk at the same time, and he's able to do it. He's that talented. Russ will check in for him. And, and, and the Mountains have gotten what they need. They, I mean, Bill West has had four possessions and four empty trips. See what they can do here. Here's Amari. He's at the Chronister. West Tayman looks like a 2 3 zone. Nice move by Amari. Here's Jansen. No good rebound by Jeffcoat. I like that shot by Jansen. Here's James. James trying to find some. Oh, good deflection by Cash. And here's Bowman. Bowman, no good. That's Anderson, yep. Anderson goes up again. No, he gets his own rebound. No, and he's going to go to the line. I like the pressure we're putting on Anderson. Well, I, I, they may have said, Fraser may have said to the team, anybody else can beat you except that guy. So we're going to double him no matter where he's at. We're going to run out at him. Just put pressure on him. Try to make him uncomfortable because he seems incredibly comfortable like he's had a shoot around earlier at his own home gym. Scott Denton-Port checks back in for Aiden Conister. Aiden having a fantastic game. Oh, yeah. He's got 12 points. And the second one's good for Anderson. Here comes Kraut. Ooh. Come on, second away. There's Amari. And they're going to call a foul on James. Yeah, Amari's so good with the ball. I mean, in order to get away from you, you may have to foul him. And West went going back to the man. Oh, look nice at the fine. Out. Here's Grayson. I kind of like to see Grace pull back. Here's Amari. Oh, tried to go inside to Jansen. Yeah, deflected by Caleb Cruzenberry. That's what the Mariners have drawn up. Baseline out of bounds play. Amari goes into Kraut. Oh, man. Five for the rebound, and it's Jansen who recovers. Let's see what Sky can do here. Does he get to Coach Frazier is calling out a play. Let's see if it's like got a little bit. Cash. No good rebound by James. Russ. Oh, more. Nothing but net on that one. Ooh, that was a dangerous pass. It was a late call. Oh, man, he, that was really late. He had stepped on the line. I thought he would have blown his whistle before that. It's a big three by Jackson Brust. Here's Jeff Cup. Gets it to Brust. Here's James. Oh, deflected by Cash. He's holding him. Oh my goodness. William. They're getting caught on oh, Grayson? He, 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 I think he said white. But I mean, I've got 33 holding Grayson. Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, oh that's a bad call. 22. What did Jansen do? Jansen was nowhere to be able to play. <laughs> it was Grayson and Jeffcoat the whole time. Yeah. Oh, that's a bad call. It must have been something off, off the ball. I sure. didn't say anything, did you? I didn't see Jansen. I mean, two guys are fighting for the ball. Tucker Anderson and Grayson Castro fighting for the ball. They're going for it. Loose ball. 
You almost want to just let it play out if it's a loose ball. Here's Anderson, guarded by Sky. Cruisenberry. Here comes Kraut. Chris Croniston. Space is not very good for the Mavericks. No, it's right not. Now. I mean, you got three guys occupying the same area. This is what we struggle at. Crowd trying to go inside. No good. That was a difficult shot. An athletic move. It's just that Lane Jeffcoat in the center just makes it so difficult for him. Here's Anderson. Anderson kind of cold right now. Yep. Brust. No good. Anderson right there. Oh. I'm going to call a foul on Amari for boxing out. Tucker Anderson pushing him out. I think Amari won it over the back call. Soren Hoyer is going to check in. This time against Amari Jones, he's third. Ooh, that's the third on Amari. Grayson in. Here comes out Amari. Yeah, just like you said, Chance, I mean, third on Amari is going to check him out with 225 left in the third. You need him. Oh, boy. The play is very effective and very simple. Space in there. I don't either. I'd like to see you bringing your own defender to the ball. Nice play. Oh, uh, there's Soren with the putback. Sky with a nice dribble drive penetration. Just fell out with Soren. Nice easy putback. There's Price. Gives it up. Anderson. Anderson with the drive, and he gets the end one. Just a terrific move, kind of a behind the head put back. I mean, that's, that's just a move that uh, you see that in addition to the inbound play where he already has about eight points on inbound plays in the lob. And you throw in the three pointers. Yes, the end one. There you go. Anderson checks out, and Lane Jeffcoat checks in. Lane Sky gives it back to Soren. Here's Sky with the deep three. That's no good. Jeffcoat with the board. Bowman bring it down. There's Price. Oh, good deflection. Dawson Price has been uncharacteristically, characteristically quiet tonight. It's only three points. Four. Oh, brush for three. Oh, my goodness. Fifteen for Jackson Brust. Yeah. Got foul on Jeffcoat. When you can get fifteen from your uh, guy that's the second off the bench, I, mean, I don't know. Uh, he may have missed one. Yeah. But if you take five threes and he makes them all, that's that's. Uh, Really difficult. Here's Cronster. Here's, here comes Sky. Sky all the way. It's blocked when he goes out of bounds. Well, that's a rim, rim protector, isn't he, down there? Lane Jeffcoat. Sky will throw it in. Oh, and a stake went by Bowman. Here comes Anderson. Anderson, two on one. Oh, 
got hit from the head by, I think, uh, Aiden Chronister on that. Uh, they call it a foul on uh, Grayson. Cash. That's some good frames. Now it's gone a little stagnant after scoring the first five points of this quarter. Won't score seven in this quarter. And, uh, West has almost scored 20. What is that, uh, 18? There's Sky. We're going to hold it here. Hoyer's going to try three. And he gets the friendly bounce. Soren Hoyer pulls the trigger with two seconds left to go in the quarter and makes it. Nine scored nine or ten in that quarter. And West scored 18. They continue to uh, score in a pretty rapid clip. <laughs> Well, Chance, um, they are hosting the uh, state championship here at Mountie Stadium. Yep. I don't have the dates on that, but no, uh, it's going to be late February, early March. I mean, I can't think of a better place to uh, host a state championship. Uh, there's plenty to do up here at Rogers. There's plenty of uh, hotels, plenty of restaurants, top golf. Yep. The highway is super close. It's not like you're going to a, um, a school that's off the beaten path. I mean, I mean, if you want to fly in, you know, X and A <laughs> is about 15 minutes away or less here. So if uh, folks want to fly in from a certain part of state or from out of state, they yeah. can fly in. We've got Embassy Suites where I, I would imagine most of the teams will stay. Yep. So really looking forward to hosting that state championship. In addition to hosting that state championship, aren't we hosting the baseball state championship as well with our brand new facility, baseball facility? Mm -hmm. Baseball kicks off in uh, February, doesn't it? Chance? Yeah, it's coming up. They February with this kick off the season the conference with Bentonville. You know, the teams are working out hard right now in the offseason, Coach Nelson. Just did an incredible job with that team. Yep. There's Anderson. I was told IMG Academy might come up here and play us. That would be cool. IMG Academy from Florida? Yeah. Play who? Rogers. Someone hits the deck. This is a shoot, too. Oh, yeah. So here we go. Mario will throw it in. Here's Davenport. Goes down to Lindsay, kicks out to Cash. Cash with a deep three. No good fight for the rebound. Pulled in by Benville West. Juan Dumas got that rebound. Here comes Cash. Ahead to Lindsay. Lindsay lost it. Pulled away by Bryson Fulcher. Here comes James. James all the way. Oh, that's brave. Good job by Amari Jones. His defensive skill sets are uh, really, really good. 
Nick Lamps is going to check in for Rodgers. Here's Soren Hoyer. Here's Amari. Here's Davenport all the way. And he gets the shot to go, and he'll go to the line for one. Sky gets the free throw to drop. Three point play for Sky. Ooh, oh my goodness. Well, I guess Gra it wasn't on the shot. Grayson must have done something before that. I saw all ball. I said that was Nick Lynch. My God, at all. Yeah. Oh, air ball. Little nerves coming in from the JV players. And the first one goes. David Kazada checks in. Mark Jones had a great night tonight. He's got a big heart. Love, he plays hard all the time. Really proud of the way he played against the number one team in the state. Comes down, lost the ball, and he'll stay with West. Deflected out of bounds by Shawan Dumas. Well, you said this game would be in the 70s, and West hit the 70 mark. It's not a difficult prediction, honestly. So they shoot it so well. Here's Nathaniel Jones. Throw it out to Sky. Here's Nick Lampson. He's out to Nathaniel. Here's Sky. He got to Cazado. Here's Sky. Sky. Into David Cazado. David's got to get a shot off. He got to go. And it's taken away. Oh, man. Three in the corner. Oh, no good. Five for the rebound, and it's West. Here's the drive. Nick Lamps with the board. Here's Scott. David Cazada for three. Up and down action right now. Yeah. Between the West and the Mountains. Uh, they're reaching foul by Sky. Well, I will say is this Denver West team reminds me a lot like Alabama. A team that can shoot the three and play really good defense. Yeah. Seeing a lot of Alabama action right now. Finley Lazewell checks in for the Mounties. Sky down the court goes to sit down. 